Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome to my latest side Let's Play series for the Sega Game Gear, Crystal Warriors! Although this game is actually available on the 3DS eShop, just recently released for it, I believe. I think it's $4, if I recall correctly. I, I bought it myself just to get back into the game, and well, now I'm going to do an LP of it. Uh, this game is a strategy RPG similar to the old Fire Emblem or Shining Force games. And it's a game for my childhood. So, yes, I did actually own a Sega Game Gear back in the day. I just... I've purged most of my Sega memories from... Well, my memory. So, But yeah, I did own a Sega Game Gear and a Sega Genesis, actually. So, just more of a Super Nintendo fan. So, Okay, well, let's get started here. Start a new adventure. Not too much story to the game. I mean, it's a... Game Gear game, what do you expect? But I like it. You're not going to be playing this game for the plot, that's for sure. I mean, it's not bad, there's just not a whole lot to it. It's basically, four MacGuffins in the kingdom. I'm just going to call it the Kingdom of Ariel. Sounds like an odd name that they would change it to, but whatever. But anyway, we got invaded by the Jin Empire and Emperor Grimm. Emperor Grum? No. No, that's something else. Nuts. What do they want the crystals for? I don't think they ever say what the crystals actually do. But anyway, yeah, they took three of the crystals, but they couldn't find the fourth one. That's because the Iris, or Princess Iris, has the crystal. Well, they don't say so, but she does. So yeah, now they're looking for the princess and the last crystal. It's our job to stop them. So yeah, take a look at the princess here. Yeah, she has the crystal there, so... Okay, so let's take a look at what we got here. Our top three party members here are our melee fighters. Uh, the, their sprite here indicates what element they are. Blue is water, uh, orange or red is fire, and purple is wind. So, see we got a fire elemental guy here? You can tell what element they are by checking their status, too. So, we got a fire guy there. Let's send out our uh, water... Malay fighter to uh, take them out. Maybe move the fire character out a little bit here. You press the A button, you can see where you can move and, well, how far you can move. Obviously, anything that's shaded, you can't move to. Oh yeah, that is one thing I wanted to mention there. Uh, let's see, you see the SP stat? That, that determines how many spaces you can move there. But your movement range can be uh, reduced by various types of terrain, like forest, uh, water, or desert. But, depending on your element, you might be able to move through them more easily. Like, wind can move through forest, fire can move through desert, and water can move, well, through water more easily there. Now, this is our mage-type character here, and he's got two spells. Flash, which is your lightning elemental spell, and scan. So, let's move him out just a little bit. I don't want to get him too close, because, well, he's not that strong. So you want to use the scan spell on the enemies on the right here. These are the humanoid units. You can't tell what they are until you either engage them in combat or you scan them with the scan spell to reveal them. So that's what I want to do. Besides, I can't hit them with any offensive magic anyway because they're just too far away. Offensive magic has a range of three. Scan magic has a much bigger range, as you can see there. So yeah, we reveal the fire elemental guy there. And by the way, one thing to keep in mind is that job classes really only determine your equipment draw, your spell draw, and your stat gains. The difference between these three melee fighters, not so much. So yeah, I mean, they're pretty much the same aside from whatever element they have. This guy is a healer, but he can heal people. And heal has a pretty damn good range, too. It's, well, spell range, so that'll be pretty useful for us. And this is Princess Iris. She's essentially the red mage of the group, although she doesn't really learn too much magic in general. But she does start with scan, which is nice. So let's use that on one of these guys. Oh, healers also learn some debuffs, but nothing extraordinary. I might get one later on. But for right now, we'll just leave well enough alone. And we revealed a worm-type enemy. Okay, so this is a monster, it's scorpion. Let's hit the battle command. Oh, I suppose I should go over the commands a little bit. So you got battle, which means attacks, retreat, just run away, 
Monster means you summon a monster to help you, and spell, you use a spell or offensive magic. But you can't do that in battle. You can't use healing magic in battle either. So, I don't want to kill this guy, though, and I'll explain why in just a moment, viewers. But for now, yeah, it looks like that fire guy is just gonna kind of stand pat there. Okay, so, let's have my water character go after it. You st stand right next to the monster, you hold the, the direction you want to attack the monster, and you go. So, now let's attack. Yeah, the lane fighters never get any magic. So let's attack. Got him! So for defeating that monster, we tamed it. So now I can use that in battle against other monsters with the monster command, or other humanoid units, or any battle. Uh, by the way, the way the element system works is um, there's a triangle here. Uh, water is good against fire, fire is strong against wind, wind is strong against water, and thus weak against what's in reverse there. And uh, Earth is neutral against everything. So just something to keep in mind. Uh, all magic users and the princess are Earth elemental. So just something to keep in mind. Now with this scorpion here, I actually want my healer to kill that guy. But I don't want to kill this guy. So let's see what I can do. So if I put my mage there. And I just want to whittle down his HP a little bit, because mages, healers, they're not really good in melee combats. One more. Okay, that ought to be good. And now my healers should be able to finish him off. That's the thing with healers, is that they really have no offensive capability, at least not at the beginning anyway. So kill the monster, boom, you got it. Now the thing with monsters is that uh, mages and healers cannot capture them. So, that's the drawback to them. But the nice thing is, is that with other characters, if you... Let's say I'm fighting a wind elemental monster, uh, and wind is going to be strong against water here. Well, if I use the fire elemental monster, I'll suddenly be strong against the wind elemental enemy. I hope I said all that correctly. Oh, by the way, one other thing I want to mention. When you kill a monster or any enemy, you get four experience. Doesn't matter. Every enemy gives the same amount of experience. You get ten experience, you gain a level. The max level is nine. Okay, so let's see. I don't want to put the princess in too much danger, so let's put her here. And scan another monster since I have nothing better. Now, one thing I do like to do in Crystal Warriors is I want to try and get as many kills for my healer as possible early in the game because, well, the monsters are easier to kill early in the game. If you wait until later in the game, it'll be much harder to level them up. And also, once you get a healer up to max level, they become obscenely powerful. They get, like, a massive stat boost. So, something to keep in mind there. Now, the way you win battles in Crystal Warriors is, well, you can either capture their castle on the right there, you just go into that center part there, so just put, get a character there, you win the battle. Or you can kill all the humanoid units. Oddly enough, you do not actually have to uh, kill all the monsters. That actually happened to me accidentally once, where I was fighting monsters and, or fighting all the humanoid units before the monsters, and I won the battle. So, we got a wind character here, water up enemy there, so wind strong against water there. Lightning is considered wind elemental. Now, I don't want to kill this guy, so let's just run away there. Hmm. Maybe if I got my water character in on the action. Hmm. That might be too close. I'll give it a try. Okay, phew! Didn't kill him. I was worried I might deal a little extra damage or a critical or something like that. Criticals really aren't a big deal in this game, though. So, have my healer finish him off. Zim, zim, zim. We got him. Oh, and you also win money from enemies, although I suppose that should be obvious, but there it is. Hmm, let's move my healer, or princess, there. And scan that guy. 
Uh, did I say this earlier? Well, if I didn't say so earlier, I'm going to tell you now. Uh, this game, like Fire Emblem, uses permadeath. Once a character dies in battle, that's it. They're gone forever. You cannot revive them, ever. The only thing you can do is uh, reset and try again. But for the most part, that's really not a big deal in this game. So I wouldn't really worry about that too much. Uh, yeah, if you lose a character, by the way, you will... You can recruit more characters later on, but uh, well, I'll go over that when we get to that. Okay, so we got a guy here. Let's have the water lady go after him. Uh, now, just so you know, the reason why all these characters are ganging up on the princess is because if she dies, it's game over. So, you want to make sure she doesn't die. But the advantage of that is that she can kind of tank the enemies in a way. Let's see, let's get up there and flash that guy. Yeah, you got a range of three for your offensive match. So yeah, if you want to kind of draw the enemies out, you can use the princess to do that. So that's pretty nice. I was trying to think of something else with... Uh... Mm, I forget. Eh, whatever. Hmm. She might be a little too strong. How are you doing so far? I'm still level one. Okay. Hmm. Let's have her go there, I think. Yeah. Yeah, okay, this is good. Hmm, I don't want to kill that guy, though. Okay, well, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to have my healer heal, since I have no one to, uh... Uh, for him to kill. So, yeah, I couldn't whittle that one down enough there, but... Oh, well. Yeah, so now you're healed up there. Hmm, what about this guy? I could have him attack him. Yeah, uh, elements are neutral to themselves. So that shouldn't be an issue, but he's got pretty good uh, defense there, so he should be able to handle it. So now, I pretty much want my princess to run away there. I like how they do that in this game, how she's really an active character. They seem to do that a lot in Sega games, like Fantasy Star, or the, the first game at least, I haven't played the other ones, but this game. Okay, well, at least he's whittled down. Oh yeah, now I remember what I wanted to say. With um, casting spells from afar like that, as you can see, whenever I do that, the enemies, uh, it's only a one-time deal and that's it. When you get in melee range of an enemy, you get two rounds and then the battle ends whether you're done or not. Whether someone died or not. Hey, hey all right, gained a level there. How are you holding up? Hmm. Okay, you're not doing too good. Okay, well, let's uh, take out this guy. Or at least whittle him, start whittling him down. Uh, if you use magic on a magic user, let's say, from afar, the magic user will have a chance to counter. And they'll get one round to hit you back. And that's pretty much it. So you want to be careful with mages, although pretty much, you pretty much never want to use magic on a magic user. You pr you really just want to stick to uh, what is it? You pretty much just want to stick to uh, uh, yeah, melee against them. Okay, well I don't really want to do anything with my other characters, so. Press the start button, and just end the round if you so choose there. And let's just run away, so that way I don't take any more damage, because well, my healer's going to be busy killing stuff instead of healing. If only we could get another healer. Or a heal spell. Okay, so let's see. This guy's almost dead, so let's have the healer take him out. 
Yeah, once you get your healer up to like level three or so, then he starts dealing at least a remotely decent amount of damage. So it's a lot easier to finish off enemies. It's really just that first battle that's kind of hard to get through to make sure you don't kill the enemies, but your healer is still able to finish them off. Hmm, I'm surprised you only dealt that much damage. If you have any questions about the game, uh, let me know. Don't be afraid to ask questions. Maybe something I take for granted in the mechanics. Who knows? But yeah, obviously I do not want to send my wind character against this guy because, well, he's going to be pretty weak to him. So, oh well. Okay, how are you doing? How are you doing there, Iris? I'm getting a little low on HP. How are you doing there? Hmm. Maybe get in... Yeah, why don't you move there? Now, I could just win the battle by stepping on the castle and be done with it. But I want to get the experience and the money. There's pretty much no reason not to do that. You might, you should kill all the enemies if you can. Okay, um... Yeah, let's do it. Okay, good, good. Okay, and then just get in to st kill steal, so to speak. And we got him! Now we got up to level 3, so that'll help out a lot. And we win the first battle! Alright! So, once you finish a battle, you get into a town. So, let's take a look around. Now, you always get your HP and MP restored automatically between battle. You don't have to uh, go to an inn to do stuff, but when you do go to an inn, there might be someone who you can recruit. So, let's talk to the guy. Zephy. Oh, Gallows is, uh, a, like a prison, or where you get, uh, uh get set on the guillotine or something? Or, I don't know. But anyway, you can recruit this guy if you want to, but I'm gonna pass on him. He's a uh, wind elemental, by the way, but eh, I'm not really interested there. And then you can save your game. Here we got a fortune teller. Usually don't have that much good stuff. They'll tell you about, like, what enemies you're going to be fighting in the next battle or something. Usually not worth it, but it only costs 10 gold, so whatever. I'm assuming the currency is gold. Yeah, we defeated the Jin army occupying this area. That's why we were fighting them. Let me see, uh, how much gold do we got? Oh, it's... I don't know what that symbol is. It's not a dollar sign. I don't know. Maybe Zenny? Uh, game? Get me out of here! So, yeah, you can talk to some people. Not really much that they say. So, yeah, I mean, this game is not for the story. <laughs> so, you got equipment shops here that sell stuff. Uh, nothing we really want right now. Uh, most of the stuff here is for Zephy, because whenever you recruit a new character, they have no equipment on them. So you gotta equip them with even the most basic stuff. So usually that's not a problem. What I do want to do here is get some magic. So heal would be really nice, but I think fire is a higher priority because it'll give my mage the ability to hit multiple elements. So, and that's the really good thing about mages. I love magic in this game because, I mean, it just gives them so much flexibility. I mean, monsters, you can get other elements to work for you, but the melee fighters are just never going to have the flexibility that mages do. I love them a lot, so. But now we're going to uh, pack things up and move on to the next battle. Next time, let's play Crystal Warriors. This is H.G. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.